All right, code red situation, my friends. Devastating news. We arrived at our lovely woodland cabin here, and I was expecting, hoping to have the classic, the signature Ryan Adams cereal bowl. We got the bran flakes, we got the muesli, got the berries on the go. However, problematic. The bowls they have here, I don't know if there's any context as to the size of these, but they're absolutely minuscule. Look, just for context, hold on. It's literally about three spoonfuls you get in there. So I don't know what we're gonna do here. It's gonna be an experiment, but I can't put everything in one bowl with all the fruit, make it delicious, nice, nutritious, looking aesthetic meal for the video here. I can't do any of that. So we'll be back in a second. We'll see what we can throw together. Right, we got the solution. Our fruit bowl. We had our butternut squash in it, but it's game over for the squash. This will do. This is probably big enough, right? It's probably about the right size. This will probably do. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. That's about right, isn't it? That's about right. Just about big enough then. Just about a big enough bowl. So we've got our... These are the brown flakes I use from Sharp and Park, if anyone's curious, if you're in the UK. And muesli. Oh, Jordan's natural muesli and I also recommend Alara so if you're in the UK the Alara muesli range pretty good so brown fakes muesli in the bowl we've got the straws on there throw those on a few bloobs love blueberries very underrated berry and chia seeds as well so on about a tablespoon of chia seeds. Just sprinkle those on. Soy milk to finish. There we go. Done. There we go. Ta -ta, ta -ta. Tiny gym here, but it will have to do. We're doing plenty of other exercise this week, so it's not ideal, but make the most of it. That's an interesting machine. I swear, some of this um, commercial gym equipment, they don't even, they don't make ergonomically at all. They don't think, hmm, what is the actual range of motion that happens here? Sorry. Little shot. The only uh, the only shots I drink nowadays. So lunch. First things first. Before I talk about breads for a second, I cannot communicate enough how envious I am of my uh, 
friends over the pond, my North American friends who have access to amazing Ezekiel bread and the Dave's Killer range and various other things as well. Bread in the UK, I always feel sorry for my British clients, bread in the UK is an absolute nightmare. Sometimes I'll have this, this is really hard to find, this is Crank's uh, whole lot of organic, sometimes I'll have that. But today we're actually gonna use, I actually haven't tried this before, Bertinet, Bertinet, Bertinet Bakery, and they do a malted wheat sourdough, which is, I'll come around here, George. It's, I mean, it's relatively clean. It's about as good as you're gonna get realistically in the UK. You see those, uh, see the ingredients list there? Yep. So it's not bad, it's not ideal, but it's not bad, sourdough. And I personally, I'm gonna need four pieces of these, and we're gonna do a little sandwich. So we're gonna do a little hummus sandwich. We've got our veggies here with some cucumber and tomato, and, uh, this is one of the corners I'm cutting. I spoke about this in my day of eating from what was yesterday. I don't know when these will all be released. How, when you're away, you need to cut some corners and it's not gonna be perfect and you need little cheat codes. And this is one of them. I, I usually wouldn't do this because it's got rapeseed oil in, which I don't really wanna eat all that much of. I don't mind a little bit of extra virgin olive oil every now and again, but rapeseed, I personally don't want much of. But look, I'm not gonna be perfectionistic about this. I've got to eat healthily, and it's either this or something terrible, right? Or that's how binary it is in some people's minds. So we've just got our reduced fat, at least it's the reduced fat version, but our ready to go hummus here. I'm going to assemble this and uh, show you when it's done. Pretty straightforward. What do you want, George? What do you want, George? Don't make me come over there, sort you out. Hummus on the toast. A little bit of cuke on there. Get the cucum. It's really simple, and this is the thing. People, because people are terrified of bread, the very concept of eating sandwiches as an option is like, surely you can't lose weight doing that. Surely you can't be healthy eating sandwiches. I do this all the time, perfectly fine for you. But you just need the right bread, bread in the first instance. And of course, needless to say, you need the right things going in said bread. So I'm gonna have one with, I think we'll do one with a mix. Done, finished article then. So I'll just bring it all together, sandwich form, nice and simple. These, to be honest, I was gonna put it all together, but it's gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? So I'm just gonna eat these individually, but uh, should we do the old taste test? Hmm. Fine, good. Right, snackies, snacky time. I've got two of these, they're so minuscule, so I always have to have two. Two of these naked bars. These are just dried fruit and nuts. One of them is the cashew cookie. Have you got those, mate? Yeah. And uh, cocoa orange, whatever. This one is pretty good. I've not had this one much, but this one is pretty good. If you're in the US, you can get these in the UK. If you're in the US, I believe Canada as well, Lara bars is a, a really good option. They're a little heartier than these as well. I'm all good with stuff like this. I know a lot of people terrified of like dry fruit because of the calories and nuts. I suppose it's different for me because I'm not trying to lose weight anymore. But um, you know, these are so measly. They're about 100 calories each. So as long as you program them into your diet, you've got no problem eating stuff like this. But snacky time. And and I thought, you know, what better time to come away in our nice woodland forest like we are for the next four or five days than the middle of July when the weather is delightful, of course. And now look at this. Look at this. Shambolic. But uh, yeah, I should have known better. Should have known better I'm living in the UK all my life. He's filming me without my permission. Call the police. Mmm, delightful. Delicious. Do you, do, do you think everyone can guess what's in the curry? <laughs> There's a massive clue here. Come, come. Chickpeas, butternut squash, spinach, um, various herb spices, tomato, tomato paste, onions, garlic, um, soy yogurt. So like obviously so many of these curries come with canned coconut milk, which is just the devil, as I'm always arguing. Well, you can have a little bit from time to time, but really high in saturated fat, so I don't like canned coconut milk. So we use soy, soy excuse me, yogurt instead. Brown rice, lime, easy, good, smells amazing. So yeah, gonna tuck into this. Limey lime. Yeah, it's really good, really good. Right, a couple of hours since the chickpea curry earlier, really good, went back for seconds, filled me up for a while. Just finishing the night now, had a couple of coaching calls this evening, finishing the night now. Bit of peanut butter, oil-free nut butter, 
onto those same uh, sourdough, uh, malted wheat sourdough as I used earlier. So again, slightly repetitive, but I'm away. As I said in yesterday's video, I'm away. It's fine. It's not going to be exactly perfect. Cutting a few corners, that's fine. Blueberries, got my little supplements here and got one of these uh, Pulsin protein bars. Again, if I'm being really scrutinous, if I'm being pedantic, these aren't, you know, the healthiest he quote unquote health bars in the world. They're also not the worst either. So we do as best we can. Damage limitation whilst we're away. And that's how we do. I try and have as many compliant foods as I can, but also f ensuring that I'm actually fuel fueling myself adequately for everything I'm doing on uh, what will be a pretty active week, actually. So this will be it. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one.